Hi, this is Don. I want to go over a chi-square problem. Uh, I see a number of students are struggling to get through these problems in a reasonable amount of time. And I know some of you have never used StatCrunch before, but I want to encourage you. Even now, there's time to learn the basics of it, and I think it will help you get through the final exam. This is a problem. Um, that has to do with a goodness of fit. It says that this safety organization claims fatal bicycle accidents are uniformly distributed throughout the week. However, the data they collected on seven days, that's seven categories, seven levels, from 778 randomly selected fatal bicycle accidents gave us this data. And at an alpha of 0 0.01, can you reject the claim if the distribution uniform? Well, the first question says, state the null and the alternative and identify the claim. The null, of course, is that the distribution is uniform, which is what the organization claims. Therefore, the null is the claim. Okay. Determine the critical value of chi-square in the rejection region. Well, first of all, the, the easiest way that I know how to do this is, again, to use StatCrunch. And in my stat lab, if you click on this little icon, you can open StatCrunch and have the data already loaded, which it has it right there. There's our seven categories, and that's the observed frequency. So the first thing we want to do is get the critical value, and we'll go to Stat, excuse me, Calculators, Chi-Square, and we get this dialog. We want, in our work, always to use the right-hand, right-tail test. So I change that first of all, just to get, get that out of the way. Degrees of freedom. Remember, this is K minus 1. We have seven categories, seven days, so K minus 1 will be 6. And we had a significance level of 0 0.01. So I've got that in there. I've got a right tail. I hit compute, and it shows that the critical value of chi-square is 16.812 rounded. And I think... Yes, that's the answer that is correct as shown in um, my stat lab. Okay, let's go down to the next thing. And it asks for the correct rejection region. We know it's right tail, so it's got to be that answer there. That The test statistic, if it's greater than the critical value, that means to the right, that's the rejection zone. Okay, calculate the test statistic. Well, again, we've got our data. Let's go back to StatCrunch. Here's StatCrunch. And we see that in the spreadsheet, we already have the data loaded, as I showed you before. We've got the seven categories and the frequencies that were observed. Uh, this third column, if we were doing a, most problems, we would label as the expected and calculate those. But in this problem, we don't need to do that. I'm going to go first down here to goodness of fit, chi-square test. And we get this dialog box. The observed is the frequency column. So I'm going to select that. And the expected, we don't have that data. I just told you that. But we do know in this problem that the uniform distribution means all the sales are in equal proportion. So we just select that. And we do want to see in, in our results the expected value. So let's hit Compute, and we get this dialog box showing the results. Again, all sales in equal proportion. The p-value of 0.883 is much greater than our level of significance, 0 0.01. Therefore, we, we have to say we are going to fail to reject the null hypothesis. And we can confirm that by looking at the test statistic 2.365, and that's the value that my stat lab has as well. So it checks out. That is to the left of 
the critical value that we calculated earlier, which I think is about 16. Since it's not to the right of 16, it's not greater than 16, it's not in the rejection region, and that tells us the same thing that I just told you that the p-value tells us. We fail to reject the null. So therefore, the claim is technically, we can't say that it's accepted, but we can again say we fail to reject it, so the null stands.